last day we have seen how we can separate different channels red green and blue from an rgb image and today we will see how we can draw a line on an image or make some portion of an image a different color so let's just copy this first portion where we read the image and here i will just use the b.png and let's save this as draw line on an image and after saving this okay here you go the previous things is actually exactly same as the previous image and here is our image we will just draw a thin line here in the middle position so first let's get the size of our image a and that will be inside column row and z there are three variable and here are the values the number of row 512 number of column is same 512 and there are three plain for rgb and here we are getting the middle point here you can see x will be number of row divided by 2 and y will be number of column divided by 2 and this will be you can see that um, the value will be actually a integer not any fractional value but if the image was different you will see that the number is not an even number if it is odd then you will see fractional value will appear as the value of x you can see 124.5 so here what we can do is we can round up the value and that way we can get an integer here not any fra fractional value so what we will do is we will round up both x and y and we will uh, take that as our center value okay so y will be equal to round of y and x will be equal to round of x and after this we can use now this x and y for our for loop and here we will just um, draw line on the center position and that is why we will be actually need to find the center position or center pixel and we will be using this image again and here uh, we found we have already found the center position now uh, from the center position we will actually work on the um, total 100 pixel let's say so from the center position we will start working from let's say for number of column we will, we will be taking y minus 50 and t so that makes it uh, 100 pixel and for this 100 pixel we will uh, write the operation or perform the operation there will be another for loop for 3 channel so we will just write it directly for k equal 1 2 3 and here now we will be actually using this a or we can use b here i will be using a so for every row we will perform this operation for number of j column and for channel k and this value will be actually equal to this one we will just check how it is working and let's show the image you know that if we want to show both the image together we need to use figure and then we can actually show both the image here now you can see we have actually drawn a line here in the middle position for 100 pixel 100 pixel in the from the center and that is what we have done here but now we don't need to do this what we will do is we will draw a red line let's say for drawing a red line you know that uh, we can actually uh, remove the other two channel from this so for red we need to make the second and third channel zero so that's what we are doing here for all the row and j column and for channel 2 and 3 equal to zero and now if we run you can see a red line is drawn on along the column and here it is actually in the center position and it is taking 100 pixel and then we will do this exactly same thing for the uh, row also and for that we will use our variable x and 
let's show both the image the original image and the image with a line drawn over it and here also we don't need to use figure anymore and there you go now we will draw a line along the row so this will be also in the center position so we will use um, from x minus 50 to x plus 50 so let's use i here for representing row you can use j too that is not a problem i'm just using it so that i can i don't uh, mix both of them okay x minus 50 till x plus 50 and that will be incremented by one pixel each time and now here you can see that we are actually making this uh, both this channel zero now if we run you will see that okay the image is not actually showing the result okay we have actually done the same thing on the column again we need to do this uh, perform this operation on our row so for each column we will perform this operation one by one on the row and here you go now you can see the red portion on this center position and we are taking 100 pixel in each row and column and if we actually want to draw a line with different color we can actually uh, take some different um, make the different channel zero and here you in the center you can see that there are blank black because we have actually made all the three channels zero in the center position okay that is why we are actually seeing black in the center and here we will just make them green then we need to uh, make one and three channel zero here you can see 